Uh, so let's just start off with that question. Why would you say that apologetics is more important right now in America than ever before? Well, in one sense, it's more important than ever before. In another sense, it's almost irrelevant. Why do I say that? <laughs> um, it's important because there are a lot of people out there that are looking for answers and want answers. Yet there's an equal number or maybe more people out there that don't care about answers. They don't care about evidence. They just want to yell at you. you yeah. Know? And really, in a society, in a civilized society, there's only two ways to settle a dispute. You can settle it on principle or you can settle it on power. In other words, principle would be I have some arguments here and I think this is the reason we ought to take this path. But there's a lot of people out there that don't want to do that at all. They just want to get enough power to, to shut you down. They want to get enough power to just impose their viewpoint without having any debate. That's why this is called the cancel culture now, because people yeah. just want to cancel the debate. They don't want to have a debate. So in one sense, it's, it, it's, it's more important now than ever because some people are looking for answers. In another sense, a lot of people don't care about reasons at all. They just want to shut you down because they have a, pre, uh, they have a preconceived ideology that they want to push forth. And it doesn't matter how much evidence you give them, they're never going to abandon it. In fact, here's a question I ask people, as you know, Bobby, on a college campus, because that's where we, we go. We used to go a lot. I don't know if we ever <laughs> go anymore. But, you know, we do the I don't have enough faith to be an atheist presentation. Then we take questions for sometimes two hours after this presentation. And if atheists get up to the microphone and they ask uh, a question and they express a little bit of hostility, I'll normally stop and I'll ask them, if Christianity were true, would you become a Christian? And I've had many atheists stand in front of hundreds of people in front of a microphone. I ask that question. If it were true, would you become a Christian? And they say no. Why? Because yeah. they don't want it to be true. They don't want there to be a God. They want to be God of their own lives. In mm -hmm. fact, they're not on a truth quest. They're on a happiness quest. And they just think whatever they want to do is going to make them happy. To have that freedom from any moral restraint is going to make them happy. And so they don't want God involved because God, they think, is going to put moral restraints on them. And you and I both know we've been around long enough that the only way to true contentment and happiness is to go straight through truth. And Jesus is the truth. But people think Jesus is going to squash their fun. So they don't want him to be true.